Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Today, we're going to be making up Hungarian goulash. Goulash, you ask, what the hell is that? Well, it's a Hungarian dish. It can also be an American dish. It can also be something to do with cards, the bridge game cards. But we're not going to be playing cards. We're going to be making up this delicious dish. We're going to do it in a crock pot. It's easy, simple, so delicious. So let's get started. Now, in a crock pot, add some vegetable spray to the bottom. Now, in Hungarian goulash, we're going to be using some cubed beef. I'm using stew beef here. And then we're going to season it with some salt, kosher salt, and some fresh ground black pepper. Throw in some ground oregano and some paprika, which is also common to Hungarian cooking, which actually started in central Mexico. But anyway, just throw that around in there. Stir it up. Make sure it's well coated. And set that aside for now. And then in a hot skillet, add some vegetable oil. And we're going to saute some veggies. Throw some onions in there. And enjoy that smell of onions cooking. There ain't nothing better. Throw in some green bell pepper. We're going to cook this for only about four or five minutes until they're softened. And then in the last minute, throw in some chopped garlic. You don't want to burn your garlic, so just cook that until it's fragrant. Then add some crushed tomatoes. Now I had some um, whole tomatoes on hand. I didn't want them to go to waste, so I went ahead and diced those up and I threw those in there for just good measure. Stir that around. Add some beef stock or beef broth, just enough to cover your veggies. Give it a good stir. Season it with some fresh ground black pepper. And we're going to cook this until we bring it to a simmer. Add some Worcestershire sauce and some soy sauce. Now be careful with the sauce you use here because of the stock and the soy sauce that has a lot of sodium in it. Like I said, bring it to a simmer, take it off the heat, add it to your crock pot over your cubed beef, give it a stir to well combine, throw in a couple of bay leaves, put a cover on it and cook it on low for seven to eight hours or high for four to five. And after that, guys, in the meantime, you want to go ahead and cook up some macaroni. I'm using large elbow macaroni. Uh, make sure this is al dente. Throw it in there. Cook it for about 15 more minutes, and you'll be ready to eat, guys. Hungarian goulash. Either way you make this, Hungarian or American, like I said, American goulash typically uses ground beef, and I've had it both ways. I'll provide a link in the description box below of all the ingredients and their amounts and how to make the American dish. But guys, this is so delicious, it's so simple, especially in the crock pot. But if you like this dish, guys, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment if you like. I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, enjoy this dish. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye, y'all.